All right, what is the chip of the day? Probably one you haven't seen before. It is an MPY634, strange part from Burr Brown, and it is a multiplier. So multipliers are very, very interesting. They're kind of like mixers a little bit, um, but uh, they basically take two values and multiply them together. So if one is A, one is B, you get A times B. And then you can input a C, which is an addition. So it's A times B plus C. And that's what this thing can do. It can do mathematics. A times B plus C. Now, um, the circuit looks like this. Um, there's three differential inputs. So this is actually a subtraction too. So it's uh, X1 minus X2 goes into the multiplier. Y1 minus Y2 goes into the multiplier. So it's actually X1 minus X2 times quantity X1, Y1 minus Y2, okay? It's a little formula right here. I think you can read it on camera. And uh, you can also divide that by a scaling factor, okay? So you can do division, which comes in here. So you can have A times B divided by C plus D. Uh, D is here at the end, and it's also differential, so it's Z, Z1 minus Z2. So it, it actually can do quite a bit of mathematics all in, all in this one little unit. Now, when I talk about mathematics, this is all analog circuitry. This is all voltages times voltages, voltages minus voltages, voltages divided by voltages. It's all voltage related, right? Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I recommend you go look this thing up and look at the data sheet. Because um, the applications are are interesting, you can do uh, a square root, you can do divide, you can do phase, you can do voltage control amplifier, uh, you can do scale factor, uh, multiplication, uh, conversion of output to current. Uh, let's see here. You're not seeing any of that, are you? Then he doesn't remember. You need to read the data sheet. <laughs> this is a really cool data sheet. Um, Sign function generator, a linear AM modulator, a frequency doubler, a balance modulator. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's let's multiply. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, so I have a little circuit over here, and let me. I don't want to give away the secret. There we go. Uh, I want to show you the inputs before I show you the output. Okay, so. Uh, these are the two. These are the two inputs. Okay, we have uh, the sine wave here. Okay, so that's coming in on A. Okay, and B is this uh, triangle wave. All right. So we have A and we have B, and uh, we are going to multiply them together, and we get that. Let me turn off A and B. We get that. So it's basically AM modulating the signal, um, but it's doing it with these cool triangle waves. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is a fun chip, a uh, really, really fun chip. So I think I might actually have quite a few of these. I think maybe what I'll do is maybe start putting together a, um, uh, a bunch of circuitries for, for sound, okay, like a uh, DIY synthesizer. So create a uh, uh, basically different types of tones, which are basically sine waves and square waves and triangle waves and stuff like that, right? And then you do envelope modulation. So this is an envelope modulator. And envelope modulators can give you attack and decay. They can also give you warbles and other stuff like that. So it could be a multiplication stage in the uh, in the thing. I might might do a PC board on this too. I think uh, I think that'd be fun. Um, but yeah, there you go. Chip of the day is a MPY634. Now it says it's wide bandwidth. It says it goes up to 10 megahertz. So that's pretty cool bandwidth. Um, four quadrant ac accuracy. So that's uh, uh, Minus plus and minuses multiplied together. Um, yeah, and it's low cost. There you go. So go get one.